Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and I'm back again because I know that you're wondering where this guy is. This little guy right here. I'm going to take him off the booty. I'm going to show you how to make this guy right here. Just goes around any booty, any booty, doesn't have to be this one, just makes an, a little accent. You can move it around to either side, it's not connected, you can take it off, do whatever you want to with it. So I'm going to show you how to make this one. This is super fast and it's just, it's just cute. Just a little accessory. It's not meant to hide any stitches or any, any, uh, weird places. It's not meant to cover anything. It's just meant to accessorize. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this guy right here. And he's so cute. Alright, so we're going to take our four. Need a four. And I'm going to use the pink. I'm going to make it exactly like this guy. So I'll leave him out so we can see it. Actually, I'll put it right back on here again. So you can see what I'm making. And what it's supposed to do. I'm going to take my four millimeter hook again and I'm going to use the pink. I'm going to do a slip knot. Let's see, there's my slip knot. However, you like to make a slip knot, I make mine this way. And I have my button. Oh, I forgot to show you my button. I just love these little tiny butterflies. They're so cute. I love these little butterflies. And they match these colors so perfectly that I had to use them. So I wanted to show you this one again. So I'll set him over here too. Alright, so we have our slip knot. And first we're going to start out making the buttonhole. Underneath the butterfly there's a little buttonhole. So we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then slip stitch into the very first chain. We're going to make ourselves a little ring. There's a slip stitch like that. All right, there. Now I have it. We would chain one, and then inside this ring right here, we're going to make 15 single crochets. And I always like to mark my first stitch. So I have my stitch marker right here. It just makes it easier to find it. Especially if it's something that you're just learning how to do. So that was number one. Fifteen total. So there's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So there we go, we have a little circle. There's my first stitch. I went around the original tail just a little bit, but we don't want to pull it closed. You don't want to use a magic circle here, or a magic ring, because this one, you want it to be open, because it is a buttonhole. There, you can see that nicely. Alright, so we have to slip stitch into our marked stitch. It's easy to find because we marked it. And just do a slip stitch. And a chain one. Okay, now we're going to start making the braid that goes all the way around the booty. So in this same stitch we just marked, or we just took the marker out of, that we just slip stitch. We did one chain one. We're going to do a single crochet here. There's one. And in the next stitch, there's two. The next stitch, there's three. And the next stitch is four. We want four single crochets on here. 
so it's starting to bump out a little bit on this side. Chain one and turn our work and do four more single crochets. One, two, three, and four. To pull out a little bit more yarn here. I'm going to do that one more time. Chain one, turn our work, one, two, three, and four. There's the cute little braid, or the start of the cute little braid. All right, now we have our buttonhole and the base of the buttonhole. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into the end down here, kind of loosely. And chain one, turn our work, and inside this little loop right here, we are going to make five single crochets. If you want to, you can use your stitch marker to mark that first one because using a stitch marker makes everybody happy and everything goes faster. That was one, here's two, three, four, and five. So that was loop number one. Use my clicker. Right now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work and in our marked stitch we are going to slip stitch. So we have another loop. We can take the marker out now because we're going to use them again in a second. And chain one and turn again. We're just going to keep turning. And inside this little loop right here, five single crochets. So let's mark that first one. One, two, three, four, and five. So now that's the second link. I'm going to mark that, or I'm going to click it, two. So we want a total of twelve, and we have done one, two links. Remember, this is the buttonhole, this is the base of the buttonhole, and now we have two links. We want a total of twelve. So again, one, two, three chains, turn our work, slip stitch into the marked stitch, and chain one. We're going to take out the stitch marker, turn our work, and inside this little loop, five single crochets. There's one, and we're going to mark it. Just makes everything easier to find. One, two, three, four, and five. That's link number three. Last, our last um, chain three space. With one, two, three, four, and five. And click. Now let's just count, shall we? Remember, this is the buttonhole. This is the base right here. And then we're going to count these links. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that last one we made is number 12. <clears throat> now we have to make the foundation for the button. 
we're almost done. That's how quickly this goes. You chain one and turn. And single crochet across. One, two, three, four, and five. Whoopsie. And five. So there was number one. We want to do that four times. So chain one and turn, and this is row two. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one and turn, we'll do row three. One, two, three, four, and five. And one last time. Oops. Chain one, turn our work. One more time. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you finish off leaving a really long tail. So we'll just snip it down here and pull that all the way through and call that done. Alright, we've got our long tail. It doesn't necessarily have to be that long. Just do that so that I can go... Oops, that's noisy. Use a long tail so that I can snip off a little bit of it and use it to sew on my button. Need a needle that will go through the holes of your button. This one will go through just fine, so that's lovely. I usually use the same yarn that I just used, so it blends. It's nice. Take one ply. That's so really all you're going to need. And so there's my needle and there's my yarn. Now here's a good safety tip. Check and see if you can get your button through the buttonhole. Oh, I will be able to. No troubles whatsoever. I can get them through there, but if you have a really big button and it won't go through the buttonhole, what you're going to want to do is sew your button through the buttonhole and onto the button base. But I can go through, so I'm going to do this. My button is going to go right here on the last part that we just did. So I'm going to thread my needle really fast. I like to leave a long tail back here. from my sewing, just so we're going to end up with tying that into a knot in a bit. And just sew on a button. Everybody knows how to sew on a button. You want to be sure it's secure, since these are going by babies. You don't want the baby to be able to get that button off. So securely as you decide it needs to be. I'm going to turn it over and we're going to tie these two little ends together in a nice knot. That's about all you'll need. I left that a little short so it's going to be a little bit trickier for me to get this into a knot. I left that too short. That's why you leave a long tail. But there's one and one more once over and make a real knot. Snip, snip.
There you go. Do that. So here we go. Yay, I got it. So there you go. Just wiggle him around a little bit. It'll loosen up a little tiny bit so you can have him over where you want. Keep him off to the side a little bit. I think that looks cute because that's the way butterflies look. So there's another one of these, just like it. It's weave in ends. And I'm not going to do that right now because you've got the idea. I'm not going to weave in the ends. Everybody knows how to weave in ends any way that you wish to do that. So again, here we go. This was the original one. Put him back on his booty. So cute. So adorable. All right, well, again, that's I'm Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Bye.